Here's Rainy. Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Pokemon Red, the Charmander playthrough. In this playthrough, in this episode, I will be going north to Pewter City and also challenging the first gym leader, Brock. Lovely. First thing I'm going to do is heal. Then I'm going to be doing a bit of off-screen training of my Charmander. While I have faith in it that it might and it might be able to do a bit of damage to uh, Brock the gym leader, I just ugh. I don't know. It might be kind of not good. Thing is, my screen recording software kind of failed during my, the first time I was recording this, so yeah. I'd done all the training, done everything, and uh, then challenged and beaten the, then challenged and beaten Brock, and then suddenly uh, it turns out that my recording software stopped working like 10-20 minutes ago. It's really annoying, and I have to go to bed soon, so I'm going to try and make this as fast as possible. But I might as well ramble on while I'm doing this training. Then I'll do the rest of the training off-screen, blah blah blah. So, what I'm planning on doing is training my Charmander up to level 15, and have it be about 300 experience away from being to level, from getting to level 16. Why? Because at level 16, something really special happens. No, it's not going to be a super special awesome move. It's not going to be anything like that. But it will be great. Simply put, it is the... The first gym leader is a bother if you are using a... Um, if you're using Charmander. The first and second gym leaders. Which is why this is a playthrough that I'm dreading most of all. However, if you can get Charmander to a reasonably high level before you challenge the gym, then you have a pretty good shot at victory. <laughs> so right now I am burning insects like a champ. Let's see, 269 to level 15. And two ye perverts, yes, I just said 69. Deal with it. Now, laugh your heads off elsewhere. So now, burn in hell, Kakuna. Since when does Kakuna have arms? Hmm. Yeah, and this is another rant. The art in this game is just so different. I mean, if you've seen Coughing, Mankey, Kakuna, the artwork is just so different. Heck, according to uh, Trigger Conway, I think it was, Charizard looks like a donkey. A donkey! The art is just so weird. Some of the most badass Pokemon don't look badass at all, and some of the most bad and some of the least badass Pokemon look really badass. I mean, look at Weedle. Doesn't it look so badass now, and badass has just lost all of its meaning. But hey, Weedle is badass. And because I randomly feel like chatting with a stranger, sometimes you can find stuff on the ground. I'm looking for stuff I dropped. Ooh. But anyways, not only is the art weird, but there are a lot of glitches on this game. I mean, if you go to Saffron City during the Rocket Takeover, there is a door that, okay, instead of a Rocket Grunt Sprite that's walking away, there is a Bird Sprite. Amazing, isn't it? Oh, right, uh... I just had to scroll up a bit because I accidentally left something. I do not like this format. Burn! Hmm. 
You know, in the anime, I think Ash's Charmander was, like, one of his best Pokemon. If he had kept his Charizard and just flown everywhere, I think he could have been an awesome character. But, no. Uh, whatever created the Pokemon anime said, No, we shouldn't make Ash badass. We should make him a lame ten-year-old moron. Funny thing is, the creator of Pokemon intended for the anime, for in the anime, for Ash to be more like Red to uh, become, well, Bad Ash later in the series. <laughs> Get it, Bad Ash? And I just stole that from Pokemon the Bridge series. Um, sorry, one kids. And at this point, I'm just burning bugs, burning, burning bugs, burning bugs, burning bugs, burning, burning, burning bugs, burning bugs, bugs are burning, boo, da da. Remember my Pidgey rant? I will not be using it in any of my playthroughs. You know why? Because I have an even more badass flying type Pokemon in mind. Just wait and see. Fourth on learned leer. Now it can leer at the ladies and such. Uh. Kakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Wait, Ember Mist? What? Okay, so I'm just gonna cut out the rest of the training and skip right to the good part. Gym Battle! After minutes of difficult training, I finally, uh, I finally exit the Viridian Forest. To fight the mighty gem leader. So here I am in Pewter City. Nice place. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catchers, but Pewter Jim Sprock is totally into it. Yeah, bug catchers kind of suck. So I'm going to heal my Pokemon. And. I will show you something not as cool as you think it is, but it's still pretty bloody awesome. Yeah. So. Firstly, I will go east to show you something interesting. So if I try to go east, I run into this guy. You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers! Follow me! This guy is annoying. He thinks you don't know where the gym is, so he forces you to follow him, but this... <sighs> it's just annoying. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock! <laughs> I have the right stuff. Wait a second, he goes east. So where does he go? I'm gonna go back east and check because as you can see there was a dead end that he's back there how does he have an ability that he that he's not telling us about like the ability to jump over these things or is he a a ghost new pokemon theory debate it in the comments below the guy who forces you to come here is a ghost Okay, so here I am in the gym. This guy is Mr. Champion in the Making. Hey, I can tell what you have. I tell. I can tell you how what it takes to become Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. No, it's a free service. So let's get it happening. The first Pokemon out in the match is at the top of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, that ma matches could be made easier. Okay, let's see if I can change it to make it easier. I only have one Pokemon. The Marshy Blood God Forthon. So anyways, let us fight this first person. Stop right there, kid. You're still light years from facing Brock. 
great. So, I have to fight this guy who doesn't know how to measure distance. He thinks light years is like a five or six tiles away. Well, technically, light years... Okay. Light years is distance. However, you, you can pronounce like 0 0.1 light years. Like, uh... Yeah, if you do like a decimal, it's still you still use the plural version. So yeah, technically he could be right, except it's a really small fraction of a light year. Anyways, this is a Diglett. It is a ground type Pokemon. It is really fast and it has okay attack, I guess. But it's not a very bulky Pokemon, so I just hit it with a number. Hit it with your best shot, and this is a sand tree, which is uh, not a ground type. It has good attack and good defense. The thing with ground type Pokemon is that they are usually, they usually have pretty good attack and pretty good defense. So yeah, this is a new type we're getting into. Isn't it awesome? Okay, so. Fourth on group to level 16. That is like super special awesome, is it not? Okay, now something really special will happen. Darn! Light years isn't time, it measures distance, so you're going for time. Okay. I'm only like 10 seconds away from fighting Brock. Okay, now the mighty blood god Photon is evolving! What will it become? What is it turning into? Okay, this is a new thing called evolution. When a Pokemon evolves, its stats go up and... Well... It learns different moves, sometimes it changes type, but... From Charmander to Charmeleon, which is this Pokemon, it, my Charmander evolved into Charmeleon. Basically, it, 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 it hasn't changed its type yet. All it did was uh, change its stats a bit. Its stats are now higher. So, without further ado, let me fight the mighty Brock. Okay, let me see. Uh, because Brock and Soto Kaiba, I think, have the same voice actor, I shall reference Little Karibo. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. I also will use my blue eyes white onyx to destroy you. That's why I, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Great. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show what your show me your best. Screw the rules, I have Rock-type Pokémon! And he is shirtless. Great. You will notice that most of my comedy is, uh... references. Okay, so his first Pokémon is Geodude. It's a rock-hard Pokémon that... Well... It's not much else but... Rocky. It's defensive and... It has pretty good attack. However, other than that, it kind of falls. Its specials and speeds are... They suck, basically. Now, you, you're wondering why I'm using Forthon. It's my only Pokemon for starters. Okay, this is... And I just... Uh, and, um... Special attacks do more damage to these rock-type Pokemon, even if they're not very effective. And the thing is about this rock gym, none of Brock's Pokemon know any rock-type moves. Kind of weird. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can burn the Sonic. Sonic is another rock ground. Okay, it's using Bide. Bide is a move that... Uh, well, simply put, it stores energy for two turns, meaning that any damage you inflict to it, it stores energy, and then after um, two turns, it uh, after two turns, it inflicts double the amount of damage that you, that you inflicted to it over the course of those three turns. If you're not careful, you could end up well, not doing well. However, I am rocking this gym, pun intended. Ah, uh, Exodia! It's not possible! Nobody's ever been able to summon him! This is Forthon, the Almighty Blood God! Forthon, obliterate! Yu Gi Oh references in a Pokemon LP. Amazing. 
So now I leveled up and I defeated Brock. I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the boulder badge. Don't say if I were you. Eh, sorry. That's an official Pokemon League badge. It's bears become more powerful. Pokemon become more powerful. The technique Flash can now be used any time. And... So I can flash people at any time. Yes! Wait, take this with you. And I received TM34. TM34... TMs are, um... Items that hold moves if you use them on, an, on a Pokemon. That Pokemon learns that move. And this TM is bad, I already went over that. Blah blah blah, TM is good only once. Yeah, it, con it contains bad, absorb any damage, then put it back double. Yep, so we beat Brock. Next time we will heal our Pokemon and go on our way to, well, east of Peter City to see what awaits us there. Until then, see ya.